Welcome to part three of the Claire Square. Claire is the feature square of season two of the Wrapped in Chemical, and we are now in part three, in round 36. Of course, you would have to have made parts one and part two in order to be able to participate in part three here. And you can find the links in the description. So to continue with parts, part three, in round 36, we make one chain first. And then now we're going to set up the front post DC corner. In order to do that, we make a single crochet into the corner space as we usually do. Then one chain. Now we're going to work a front post travel into the same corner, uh, same corner space in which we worked the puff stitches in the last round. So you see between those puff stitches, here's the corner, here's the space, and we're working around that chain two space that we made there. And now we're going to chain one more and a single crochet in the same corner space, not as the treble, but as the first single crochet that we made. From here, we continue. And we work a single crochet in the next stitch and one more single crochet into the outer loop of the puff stitch. Remember that the puff stitch seems to have two, um, two sets of loops and we work into the outer loop. So now you see we've marked, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, there are those three front loops and we're going to work into these front loops here. Our combination DC back loop DC. So the DC goes into the front loop, which is to, uh, belongs to the stitch two runs below. Then we'll work a single crochet in the back loop only in the current round here or one round below, and then another DC into the front loop of the stitch two rounds below, and that's it. So we skip the stitches behind the double crochets, then another single crochet, and then we repeat the same thing. We do that three times, so single crochet, and then the DC back loop DC combination. So the DC, skip the stitch behind the DC, single and back loop only, and another DC in this same front loop here. Then another single crochet, that's a third repeat. We're going to work into the front loop, the DC, double crochet, single crochet in the back loop only, and a double crochet again in that same front loop. Skip the stitch behind the double crochet. And from here, we work one single crochet and then a double front post double treble around this stitch here. So work around that. And remember we always skip the stitch behind the special stitch unless we work around it or it is like a spike, a split spike. Then because then we also work around that. So if we want to avoid unwanted increases, we need to skip the stitch behind those special stitches. Then two single crochet after that front post double treble. And now again, we have a double crochet DC back loop DC combination. So we work the double crochet into the front loop that is between those double crochets here another single in the back loop only and another double crochet into the same front loop in which we just worked. You see it's summer here. I've got a lot of cat hair wherever I go. Oh, I wanted to show you just quickly before I forgot. Before I forget. Um, you see I've blocked the, the part here I've blocked the square because it was quite wobbly and blocking, I'm not sure where you can see it properly, totally got rid of all the wobbling and the square is lying completely flat now. It's 
really easy to do it with with the yarn I'm using which is the Bendigo wool and meal yarn and it's the pure pure wool it's wonderful to work with and um, it's super great to block too so sorry for the interruption just needed to let you know okay so here we are we we worked a double crochet single and back loop double crochet we skip the stitches we behind those special stitches again and now we make four single crochet so we keep this stitch marker in if you have one I do suggest to put one in it's easier to work into the stitch later to find it and work into it but you see we skip the stitch behind this two together in the previous round and we're going to work from behind a double crochet into those top loops of the stitch that we skipped and then it's 19 single crochet so you see I've made 19 single crochet and that should bring you just before this two together stitch here behind which we again make a double crochet in uh, behind and below so we're working in the loops of the stitch that we skipped earlier DCBB then we skip the stitch in front and then another four single crochet and we work our DC back loop DC combination so the DCs go into this front loop that may or may not be marked with a stitch marker then skip the stitch behind single in back loop only in the next stitch and then again work a DC in the same front loop and skip the stitch behind the DC work two single crochet then the front post double travel around this stitch here that's it skip the stitch behind the front post double travel one single and again our DC back loop DC combination then DC skip the stitch behind the DC single in back loop only of the next stitch another double crochet in the same front loop then we skip the stitch behind the double crochet. We work a single crochet in the next stitch and we repeat again. DC back loop only DC another single DC back loop only DC now we finish with two single crochet and the first of those goes now again in the outer loop of the puff stitch and we skip the inner loop and we work the second of those last two single crochets into the single crochet of the previous corner and then let me just go through the corner again with you one more time single crochet in the corner space around the chain two yeah chain one travel around the chain two space here where we made the puff stitches travel another chain and another single crochet in the same corner where we work the first single crochet and that's it very easy that's your round one that's your side one of round 36 so for stitch markers if you want to use them we can place some stitch markers into the new free front loops here so we made single crochet in the back loop only which leaves this free front loop between those double crochets three times one 
two and three. And we do the same on the other side as well. And you can do that later. And then another between those double crochet here. So for example, if you want to work with two colors, I'm using two different colors for those three front loops here, because if I was to work with different colors, this is a different stitch than this one. This is the grassy stitch, a bit like rye or something like that, or wheat. And this one is going to be the small rose. So I'm just using different stitch markers to make sure that yeah, I remember to change my yarn, for example, which I don't do in this video, but I may in another one. So that is a little reminder for me to change color. So we can do the same here. I'm going to place one here and then these ones go in these three front loops. To complete the round, we just repeat that on the other three sides and then close with a slip stitch into the single crochet now. Yeah, and the single crochet. Okay, and then we meet again for round 37. We are now in round 37. So we start the round with a chain one, and then our first stitch is a single crochet into that chain one corner space then a chain one and our next stitch is part of that FPDC corner, the front post double crochet corner. So we yarn over for a double crochet and then we make a front post double crochet around that treble from the previous round. Very simple. Then another chain one and We've got that chain one space after the treble from the previous round and into that we work the second single crochet for this corner. So the corner is single crochet, chain one, front post DC, chain one, single crochet. And that's all part of that front post DC corner. And that's actually also all that there is to it. Our next stitch is a single crochet in the front in the back loop only. And now we're going to work a front post treble zero minus three. So and uh, as always with trebles and double trebles, if you work with a very loose tension in your crochet, then a treble may be enough or if you're very generous with you know pulling the yarn through if you have a very tight crochet tension then maybe you prefer to do a double treble and you can always just exchange those just make it work for your for your yarn so i'm going in the same corner space in which i already made this treble in the previous round and where we also have those puff stitches. So that is here. And then it's very important to skip the stitch behind this, this treble. Okay, so the next stitch is a single crochet, actually two single crochet. And then we're working the small rows. And the small rows, we had that before, is very similar to a popcorn stitch. We just have the double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the same front loop. Oh, and you 
Notice that I had marked this front loop with a stitch marker. But if you haven't, that is a front loop that is a little bit hidden by those two double crochets that we made in the previous round. Okay, so we have one double crochet, a chain one, another double crochet, a chain one, and a third double crochet, and they all go, those double crochets all go in the same front loop. And we can then take this one out, we won't need it anymore in here. Then I uh, pull up the loop, I let the hook go from this loop, and I insert it in the top loops of the first of those three DCs that we made. And then close it a little bit and then pull it through and I'm closing the stitch with a chain one. Okay, then it's very important again to skip the stitch behind this small rows. We always skip the stitch behind the special stitch. Then we've got three single crochet here and then again we work the small rows double in this free front loop which may or may not be marked with a stitch marker chain one a second double crochet in the same front loop chain one and a third double crochet also in the same front loop then pull up the loop Insert the hook in the first double crochet, pull through, close with a chain. Skip the stitch behind, three single crochet. And a third time. Double crochet in this free front loop, chain one. A second double crochet in the free front loop, chain one. And a third double crochet in this free front loop, pull up the loop, Insert the hook in the first, pull through, close with a chain. And I'm taking those stitch markers out as I go here. Now we're working five single crochet. Five, and then we have our DC single combination. DC single DC combination. So the DC goes into this marked front loop. I'm going to leave the stitch marker in this time because we will be working into the stitch again. Then skip the stitch behind the DC. In the next stitch we'll make a single crochet through both loops. And then another double crochet in the same front loop. And skip the stitch behind the double crochet. Now we're working six single crochet. And six. And now we work a butt stitch or rose butt. So I'm making the first single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch. And I mark the third loop of this first single crochet that I just made with a stitch marker. It's easier, so much easier to find this third loop later on. And I make two more single crochet in the back loop only of the same stitch. I find the front loop, turn my work. Now I'm going to make four single crochet in the front loop of the same stitch that I worked those three in the back loop only. And then I continue to turn my work. And now the front is facing me again. And I'm going to just pull a little bit on this stitch marker to make it easier for me to insert my hook in the third loop. And I slip stitch into this third loop. Now I need to find the next stitch, which is here. And starting from this, I make three single crochet. And another but so I do the same thing again. Single crochet in the back loop only, and then I make a, I place a stitch marker in the third loop of this first single crochet that I made. Two more single crochet, finding the front loop, turning my work, 
for a single crochet in this front loop of the same stitch turning again pull on the stitch marker and slip stitch into that third loop finding the next stitch like here another three single and we repeat this a few more times so we've got five butt stitches all together always with three single crochet in in between so I will continue and if you want you can either skip ahead a little bit or you just join me in making them as we go two more single crochet in the same stitch finding the front loop turning the work four single crochet in the front loop of the same stitch turning the work close with a slip stitch find the next stitch from this three single crochet so this is our fourth rosebud or butt stitch single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch mark with a stitch marker two more single crochet in the same back loop find the front loop turn the work get them way on <laughs> four sing oops hello four single crochet in the front loop only turning the work close with a slip stitch find the next stitch three more three single crochet and you see we've got four so this is our fifth butt stitch or rosebud mark with a stitch marker Two more single crochet in the same back loop, find the front loop, turn the work, four single crochet in the front loop only of the same stitch, continue to turn, find the third loop, close with a slip stitch, find the next single crochet or find the next stitch and from this we we'll make five single crochet now uh, sorry we we'll make six single crochet and then we work oh no i said we keep it in in this free front loop here which may or may not be marked on your project so we'll make a DC single DC combination and by now you know for sure that we always skip the stitch behind those DCs so that would be this one and we continue from here with um, sorry with five DC now uh, five single crochet now three four five and the fifth brings you to the top of this double crochet and again we may or may not have marked this free front loop here with a stitch marker that is between those double crochet from the previous round in this free front loop we work the small rows sing uh, double crochet chain one double crochet in the same front loop chain one and a third double crochet in the same front loop and pull up the loop close it and then close with a chain one need even more yarn so this round is quite yarn intense while some others are not that bad then we skip the stitch behind this small rows 
and we start to work in the next stitch and then three single crochet and then we are here again at the top of those double crochet of this double crochet from the previous round again we work the small rows double in the free front loop chain one double in the free front loop chain one and then third double crochet pull up the loop let the hook go insert into first pull through and close with a chain let me just get rid of those two stitch markers already then we skip the stitch behind the small rows which is this one and the next stitch and it's easy to find is the top of the double crochet and from here we make three single crochet and a third time DC chain one DC chain one DC all in the same front loop all DC's in the same front loop we pull and we close skip the stitch behind and from the next we only work two now two single crochet and now we've got the treble or double treble if that works better for you on the other side of the treble you see on the in the beginning I work this treble on this side on the side where I'm working in the end I'm going to insert the hook so that the sorry so that the treble will be anchored also on this side not on that side so that the treble is anchored on the same side and which we just worked. Then we skip the stitch behind the treble and our last stitch again is a single crochet in the back loop only. And I just want to show you how to continue with this front post, post DZ corner. It's actually the same as we did in the beginning. So we work a single crochet in that chain one space. We chain one, then we work the front post double crochet chain one again and now again we find that chain one space and we work a single crochet into that chain one space so exactly as we did on this side here okay so that is the first side of round 37 done it may take a little bit longer because of those row spots but you saw that it is actually not that bad, it can be quite quick. So for stitch marker placement, we're going to place a stitch marker in the first stitch that we made here on the side after the corner and in the last stitch, that free front loop here. So now all you have to do is to repeat it on the other three sides and then close with a slip stitch in this first single crochet here of that starting corner. And then you're done with round 37 and we'll meet in the next round 38. Welcome to round 23. We start the round with a normal corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two corner space. And our first stitch is again a single crochet. And then we work a spike stitch in the corner again. So we're starting a new set of those double spikes in the corner. We leave one corner out and we just work in the next corner technically. That is a spike stitch minus one, minus two. We go one behind 
of the next stitch, which is this one, and then two rounds down. One, two. So we're here in this corner. <laughs> Now we work three single crochet. And the first of those three goes into that spike stitch from the previous round. And then we have a treble, a front post treble, minus one, minus two. We go one back and two down. One, two. That is the DC that we made in the in the round before. We skip the stitch behind that double and we work one single crochet. So the next single crochet is worked in the spike stitch here. And now we work a spike stitch in the same stitch here where we also already have those two split spikes. And we work another split spike and we now just pull a little little bit higher. So this one's a little bit longer because it's an additional round here. And from here we work three single crochet and we do the same again. We Again we work a split spike in the same stitch that already contains those other two split spike stitches from the previous round. Now we've got five single crochet. Oops. A single crochet in the back loop only. And then three single crochet. And the third single crochet should bring you to the top of that DC from the previous round. Now we're working a uh, treble in that same front loop that already contains those two double crochets. And then again, skip the stitch behind that treble and three single crochet, single crochet in the back loop only and five single crochet. Then that should bring you to the top of this split spike. And we're working a spike stitch in the same stitch as before. Just pull up a little bit higher because we've got an extra round to cover three single crochet, another spike, one single crochet, and then a front post travel around this DC here. Now, so that's plus one minus two. Skip the stitch behind this front post treble. Three single crochet. The spike stitch into the corner. So leave one out, work in the next. And finishing off with one single crochet. And here we are in the corner. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty quick. Just repeat on the other three sides, close the round with a slip stitch, and then we be together for round 24. All right, let's have a look at round 39 which starts quite harmless, but it has a few tricky um, passages. So let's just go through it. We chain one at the beginning of the round, then a single crochet, chain one, 
a front post DC around the front post DC from the previous round, another chain one, and then the single crochet into the chain one corner space. So now let's begin the side. So we start with eight single crochet, which is easy enough. Three, Five, six, seven, and eight. Now we make a single crochet in the back loop, and this single crochet in the back loop should be in the middle of those three stitches between those small roses here, which means that the second of the three single crochet we're going to make should be directly above this small rows. So three single crochet and then we're making another single crochet in the back loop only. And you can really check your your placement if you are in the middle uh, in the middle stitch of those three between the small rows that's correct. So another three single crochet And one more single crochet in the back loop only. Now we're going to make six single crochet, of which the third should be in the top loop here. And that's a good way to check as well. Four, five, and six. Great. Because I once, for example, skipped two stitches behind this one and I was wondering why well, my stitch count was off. So always good to check. And the chart is a great tool to help you see where your stitches should be. Okay, so now you should be one stitch before this double treble here. And we're going to make a double treble and that's a plus four minus one which means we go four stitches ahead and one stitch down so starting to count from this one one two three four stitches is this one where we may have placed the stitch marker in in the top loop of the double of the treble that we made and we just make that double treble okay now we have to pay uh, attention. We just work this special stitch which means we skip this stitch. Okay, This would usually be our next stitch but we're going to work a DCBB into these three front loops. So we go behind all those stitches and we work a DCBB a double crochet behind and below the next stitch and now the tricky part so we skip this stitch because we made the special stitch here and we have to skip this stitch as well because we made the DCBB behind it so it will look like we're skipping two stitches and the next stitch will be a single crochet in the stitch after this double treble here and we'll make two of those single crochet. And that brings you to the first of those trebles that we made in the previous round. Behind this one, we're going to work a DC BB again, but we don't finish it because we're not now going to make a another special stitch, which is the two together um, C. And this means we we start with a DCBB leg and the second leg is a double treble so we are over three times of the stitch that is four ahead. This is the next stitch. One, two, three, four. That's the double treble that we made in the previous round and it has a stitch marker in it. So we work in those loops here. 
just one round below. Pull through all three. And now we skip this treble and we work behind here. So the next stitch goes into this single crochet. You see there are three single crochet between those between the treble and the double treble and we work a single crochet in each of those stitches. One, two, and three. Now we're going to do the same again. We work a double crochet leg behind the next double treble from the previous round. Then we yarn over three times for a double treble leg, which we're going to place into the top loops of that double treble. And that's the last on this side. You know, we have those rosebuds where we don't have the trellises here. And this is the last of those on this side. So we place our double treble leg in that stitch. And then we yarn over through all three loops. And again, we work a single crochet in each of those three single crochets from the previous round. So one, two, and three. Okay. So that's twice that two together C. And now we're going to work a double crochet DCBB behind this double treble here from the previous round. That's the last of this group here from this trellis. Okay. Then three single crochet. And this is the second is our middle, our center stitch. It's in, in the middle, in the center of the side. And one more. And now again, we're going to work a DCBB, a double crochet behind and below the double treble from the previous round. There we go. And then three single crochet. We skip the double treble, which is now in the front, and we work three single crochet. Okay, so now we're going to make the two together D. For that, our first leg, it's a mirror of what we did on this side. Our first leg goes four stitches behind, counting from the next, which is the top loop of the double treble behind which we just made the DCBB. So we go into those loops here. One, two, three. We still have two loops on the hook. And now we work the DC leg behind the next double treble here. DC and then go through all three stitches. And we do that again. So we work three single crochet. Then our first leg of the two together D is the double treble leg that goes back four stitches, counting from the next stitch. So we work the double treble part, the double treble leg, and then we yarn over for the double crochet leg, which goes behind this treble from the previous round. And yarn over through all three. Okay. Now we work two single crochet. And then we are at this stitch here and we work a DCBB, a double crochet behind and below this stitch. And now we are 
going to mirror this one, the double treble minus four, minus one. So we go four stitches back with a double treble leg into the top loop of this treble here. Top loops in both, we go in both. And that's the double treble minus four, minus one because we're one round below. So now we need to remember, we have to skip this stitch here, these loops, because we made a DCBB behind those stitches. We also have to skip this stitch because we made this double treble minus four minus one just now. Okay, our next stitch will be the first of two single crochet. We'll go into this stitch and you can check that you are at the right place because it should be one before this treble from the previous round. Okay, let's just do that. So one, and we're making six single crochet. Two, so the second goes into this treble, three, and the fourth goes into the top loops of this front post, four, I've got two more, five and six. So the single crochet in back loop that we're now making, oops, there we are, should be just one before the rows, so the uh, before the one that is above the rows, so we make one, two, and the second of those single crochets should be above this small rows, and three. So when we make another single crochet in the back loop only now, that should be in the middle stitch of those three single crochets that are be, uh, between those small roses. hope you can see that. And again, one, two, three, and a single crochet in the back loop only, which again should be the second of those or the center stitch of those three between the small rows. And the second of the last eight single crochet that we're now making should be directly above the small, the last small rows. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whew, lucky. <laughs> okay, and then we are in the corner, single chain one, front post DC. Let's just leave it at that for this side of the corner. Great. So now for a stitch marker placement, let's have a look. We're going to place, I hope I've got enough. No, not quite. Get some more. So we place a stitch marker in each of those three front loops from the beginning. Oops, sorry. I'm not centered. And the end here. So we are between those small roses. We're also going to place, well, I've used up my green ones, sorry, this should be green actually. I'm using these for now, putting in the top loops of the double treble plus four minus four that we made and also in the top loop of the double treble minus four. So that was the first and the last in this area here. The, the single stitch, not 
a two-legged stitch. So that's it for round 39. Just remember in this round, very important to skip this in front of the DCBB and the next one that is behind this double treble, in this case, minus four, minus one. And also here. So we first make this stitch, then we make the double treble on this side, uh, the DCBB, sorry. So we skip this stitch and this, and then we work only two, whereas between those we work three single crochet. Just be aware of that, and then you'll be right. It will all be fine and work out well. So repeat this on the other three sides, and again, of course, close your round with a slip stitch into the single crochet that you made into that chain one corner space, and then we'll be ready for the last round in this part of the tutorial because the as the rounds get longer and longer i want to break it up so that the videos don't go forever and ever and ever so i will have five rows for each of those parts in part three so there will be part three one part three two and a part three three Okay, and I'll see you for our last round, round 40 in 3.1. Our final round in part three, one, where we start with uh, chain one, so round 40. And then we work a single crochet into that chain one corner space, chain one, a front post DC around the front post DC from the previous round, chain one, and then again a single crochet in the chain one corner space here. And we start the round then with one single crochet, and then we're working around this DC in front loop that we made two rounds earlier. We work a treble and to be precise is a treble plus one minus two. So one stitch ahead and two rounds below. We skip the stitch behind this treble and then we make three single crochet. Now again we work a front post treble, this time it's going to be around this long treble that we made into that corner space here. So that's this stitch here. It's a plus one minus three, so it's one, one stitch ahead and three rounds below. Again, we skip the stitch behind this one here, the one we just made. We make two single crochet. And again, we make our famous combination of double crochet, back loop, double crochet, where the double crochet goes into the front loop. Uh, and I've just unmarked it with that stitch marker. That is two rounds below and one stitch ahead. So it's DC plus one minus two. Then we skip back to the current row or one round below where we make a single crochet in the back loop and then again a DC in the same front loop as before. That's then a minus one minus two in front loop. We skip the stitch behind this DC as well and then we have one single crochet and now we repeat. We do this three times, single uh, DC, back loop, DC, one single crochet. So I've just skipped the stitches behind those DCs. And we do it one more time. So that's the third time. DC, double crochet. In front loop, single crochet in back loop only, 
double crochet in the same front loop, skipping the stitches behind the double crochets that we make. And then one single crochet and at the third time we just add two more single crochet. So now we're going to close this round here and for that we have two legs. The first leg is a front post treble front post treble minus two minus two so two stitches back and two rounds below and the next leg is a front post double treble which means three times yarn over and it goes into the uh, around the leg three ahead and two rounds below that's this one and then we go through all three loops here we skip this stitch behind which is exactly above this treble that we made earlier and from here we make one single crochet. Now you see we are behind this double treble plus four minus one from the previous round and behind this we work a DCBB so we skipped one stitch and we just work in those loops, the loops of this stitch that we skipped. From here we work 27 single crochet and what you can do, let's just make the four, the first three, two, three, and then I can show you what I mean. If you want, this, you don't have to, only if you want to anchor this stitch a little bit more instead of going only through these two loops you can go through these and the two loops that lie directly below them so that will anchor the stitch a little bit more and then another um, three And then again the, the eighth. So, so that's the fourth and the eighth. And then we have a bunch of stitches. The next is the twentieth. Nineteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And the twentieth, it's the same. So we can do the same. Either you just work into those two normal loops or you include the two loops that lie directly below them. Let me see if I can show you a bit better. There we are. So it's four loops all together. And that is the 20th of those single crochet and the 24th as well. Okay, and then we have three more stitches to go to make our 27 single crochet. And then we're here again behind this double treble minus four minus one from the previous round. And we just work into those loops of the stitch that we. <laughs> Then we skipped behind this special stitch. And then one single crochet. And now we're going to close the gap on this side. And on this side, we're going to make the front post double treble leg first. So yarn over three times for the double treble. One, two, three. And then the second leg is the front post treble leg. One, two, and go through all three. Then again, we skip the stitch behind, which is again exactly above this treble here that we made between the DCs. And then we work three single crochet. Oops, a little bit more yarn.
So that's one, two, three. And from here, you've noticed that we're already going in backwards in the pattern again, on in the mirror part of the pattern. So we make the DC back loop DC combination. Always giving the stitches behind the DCs. One single. Do this three times. DC back loop DC single. Notice that I've skipped the stitches. And the third time, well, I'll skip the stitches behind the DC. DC, skip, back loop, DC, skip. Single, and we add one more single here at the end of this repeat. Now we're going to work around this long front post treble. We'll make a plus one minus three from post travel plus one minus three. Skip the stitch behind the stitch, three single. And now we work around this DC here. Sorry, a front post travel. post treble and we skip the stitch behind the front post treble and we finish the side with one single crochet and then we are in the corner single crochet chain one front post DC and then the rest on the other side okay stitch mark placement stitch marker placement <laughs> We can just reuse the stitch markers that we've taken out from here, if that's something that you would like to do. And we place them in those three front loops between the double crochet that we made those three DC back loop DC groups that we have at the end and also here at the beginning. So one, two, Sometimes they do annoy me, the stitch markers, but generally I like to say stitch markers are your friend. And you know that, that I always say that. They are your friend, they can be very helpful um, and make your life much more easier or much easier. Okay, so that's round 40. You just have to repeat this on the other three sides and then close with a slip, st slip stitch in the first second crochet of this corner, as always. And then your round 40 is done. So you're one third into part three already. I will be making a little video too to walk you through uh, Claire and what the three parts stand for and the meaning behind it as well in a separate video. Otherwise, this will get just too long. And you will notice that, of course, this is part three is um, our busiest part. We do many of those butt stitches. We do the small roses. We will be doing big roses. Um, there is a lot going on um, also, like those flowery parts that we're going to close even more. And we're also starting new ones. As you can see here, we're starting 
leaves and all that. So that's all happening in part three. So this is the main part of the story. And I'm going to walk you through on the finished Claire. Until then, um, I see you in part three, too.